Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and in this video I'm going to show you how to download, install and mount DOSBox on Microsoft Windows. So this is Microsoft Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, you should not have any issue downloading, installing and mounting DOSBox watching this video. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe right away. Now, so let's go ahead and download DOSBox on the system. So go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to this sourceforge.net projects dot DOSBox. I'm going to leave this link in the description below so you can get it from there. Now, once you have this DOS box, obviously you will have to click this download button and then this is going to be downloaded like this. Now, depending on the browser that you, you are using, go ahead and locate it. So I'm going to click this show in folder and this is going to be here in the downloads folder. Now, what you have to do, just click on it, double click on it and you will get a window that's kind of user control security on the Microsoft Windows. Go ahead and say yes. Now once you get this wizard, installation wizard, setup wizard, go ahead and say next. Now leave it as it is and go ahead and say next again. This is where your DOS box is going to be installed. So do not make any changes if you want you can change the name of the DOSBox directory like I'm just going to say DOSBox and then say install and you can see it says completed installer setup completed go ahead and say close now the DOSBox is installed okay if you want to use it there are a few things that needs to be done so if I go ahead and double click on it, it's been, you can see it's running. If I want to mount it, I can go ahead and mount it. But there are a few other executable files that we need. Okay, so I've got it here. You, I will leave a repository link, GitHub repository link for this download. So you can go ahead and download from there. And all you have to do just open this uh, folder the downloaded folder most probably it's going to be in zip folder so unzip it extract it and copy everything like this and then go ahead and open the windows explorer you can press windows key and letter e it's going to open a windows explorer go to c drive and just create a folder so this is where we are going to mount this DOS box and I can say whatever I want. I'm going to say D box. Okay. And then open it and paste everything that we copied from that this DOS box folder that you're going to get from GitHub. Now when once it's there, what you need to do is basically close everything relaunch the DOS box and this time we are going to mount it and mount it in a way that it should basically uh, you know mount automatically so go ahead and copy this location that you see here just select everything right click on the very top and go to edit and say copy so this has been copied now once again uh, you will have to open the Windows Explorer go ahead and press the Windows key and letter E on the keyboard and paste that location here and in this I'm going to just go to this specific DOS box and you will see this file dot conf go ahead and open it in your preferred editor or just with notepad 
so I'm going to use Visual Studio Code if you have any other text editor you can open it with other text editor scroll down now we are going to write some code so that it can automatically mount into that folder D box so all you have to do you simply have to say mount and then this is alias name C and then you say C colon backslash D box this is where you got everything like all the uh, downloaded file uh, executable files and then you have to say C colon quickly go ahead and save it now it's been saved you can see it here so this is the folder name where we kept everything this folder okay we'll close everything now I'm going to close this as well now if I go ahead and double click on it it's going to be mounted to the C drive now if I say edit and just file name one dot ASM is going to work look at that so this is basically how you download install DOSBox and mount it problematically that so that it can mount every time you launch it so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question please leave in the comment below bye for now take care